Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's time for the song from Malta. If you're just here to see my reaction, check out the timestamp. There you can just skip forward because right now I'm going to talk about my daily life. As you can see, I'm in the kitchen right now. I'm making yeah, some pasta. Actually, I'm a bit in a hurry right now because it's already close to 7.30 p.m. and I have my weekly meeting, online meeting with my friends. And today after work, it was actually a very, very stressful situation due to the fact that I tried to call for Schäckingskassen, so the Swedish health insurance. Then I realized, hey, okay, you can only call them till 1 p.m. So I do that tomorrow and then other things I had to do were just bothering me today. So there was a lot of chaos after work. At work, however, everything is still, yeah, flowing very nice. So I continue with my program. This first program, the documentation stuff is also continuing. So I hope I can finish the original project, hopefully by the end of this week. And then the one I'm working on right now. Yeah, I don't know if I can finish this program this week. I don't think so. This of course all depends if I have side quests popping up, like fixing certain things with certain machines again. Yeah, but we will see. As I said, I'm in a hurry right now. I will now switch over to the reaction for the song from Malta. Hey guys, I'm LJ and today I will be reacting to Sarah Bonici with the song Loop which is, yeah, the song from the national performance from Malta for the Eurovision Song Contest 2024. I have no idea what I am going to see right now, so first time. And as always, first watching, then opinion, and in the end, I give my points from 1 to 10. Let's go. Don't you know that you got me, that you got me? Okay, she's taking taking the guys, her dancers, as stairs and being carried around. Interesting. Mm. Okay, yeah, interesting, interesting. Okay, so like, the dancing is nice, but I don't like the song, to be honest. Dance break. I think this is the first dance break I see that is going to happen for the Eurovision Song Contest. Maybe some of the songs that were just music videos. Okay. No, she was just flipped around, blindfolded. And more dancing, yep. Okay, this gives me vibes of Noah Kirel from last year. More dancing. Okay, that was Sara Bonici from Malta. Huh. <laughs> I really have to tell you, I'm sorry guys, that this is not, not something good in my opinion. Like, the dancing, okay, nice and all fine, but I don't like the song and I also think like her voice maybe was just weak because due to all those, like, dancing around you of course you get a lot of breathing going on and maybe that just you know makes it a bit harder for her to sing i'm just guessing but unfortunately this is not really something that i would place that high on my list and also i don't think it's going to make it to the finals speaking in points i will just scroll through the songs that i've already listened to that i yeah can maybe I think I have to give it three points, as I also gave to Icode Pedestal from Czechia, because this was, it was just not my music at all.
So that is my opinion on the song from Malta. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is a good song that Malta has brought to the Eurovision Song Contest this year or not such a good song? Feel free to include your opinion in the comments also if you have a certain point ranking in your head. Include that as well. And with that said, it is now time to say goodbye. We are going to see each other tomorrow right here when it's time for the reaction for Moldova. But now, have a good weekend and then, yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.